it's Julie with Purple Monkey Manor and I have another project for you. I heard Ellen say that you know you're old when you say, oh, I have a good bag. Um, ooh, I found a good container. It's empty, but look, look at this. I have a kiddo and we collect a bunch of these. They have this window in them. So you can see, you can see through them. And uh, I think that they would make really great uh, gift tins. So one thing about these Pokemon tins, they have a raised character on here. I'm gonna use an IOD mold and put a mold over this guy to um, mask old Pikachu here. These mold, this new snowflake mold, uh, it's called Blitz. It is so detailed that I'm gonna do this clay a little bit at a time so that way I can make sure that I get down in all the details. When using clay in IOD mold, it's probably best to use some sort of release like cornstarch. You dust just a little bit of it into the mold before you put the clay in and it helps it to come out of the mold easily. I forgot to put some in this time and you can see me really struggling to get the clay out. All right, that was pretty great. I think I'd still use the cornstarch next time. I used Aileen's Tacky Glue, the extra thick formula. It was a little hard to spread on this wet clay, so I think I'd use the regular formula next time. I'll put a link for both down in the description. I found that painting the lip of the Pokemon tin made it hard to open and close, so I was able to sand the paint job off the tin instead. I used DIY paint in Prom Queen and White Swan to create kind of a blended icy blue color. DIY Paint recently released Making Powders. This one is Silver Linings and it's got this gorgeous sparkle to it. I sealed the entire piece with crystal clear chandelier liquid patina from DIY Paint. And because you can never have too much sparkle, I added some more silver linings making powder. Comes Evie Dog. Hi, Evie Dog. Let's see if I can show you Evie Dog. Come here, Evie Dog. Hi. Hi, Evie Dog. Sweet girl. 